Minister Sanjay Dutt has asked the Supreme Court to give him six months before he is imprisoned. His case will be heard, heard tomorrow. This is citing film commitments. Reportedly, he has about 70 to 100 crores of film com commitments at the time in Bollywood. His lawyer, Mar Shinde, we understand, is on his way to Delhi. The 53-year-old, remember, was sentenced in March to a little over three years in jail for illegally owning weapons, including an AK-56 rifle in a case linked to the 1993 bomb blast. The Supreme Court had ruled that he should be jailed by the 18th of April. Remember, Sanjay Dutt, in an emotional press conference last month, had said he would not appeal against his sentence. Uh, and for more on that story, uh, we're joined by Vedinathan from the Supreme Court and Miloni Bhatt from Mumbai. Uh, Vedi, to you first. Uh, this petition has obviously been filed for him to uh, uh, seeking six more months to surrender. Exactly. Basically, Sanjay Dutt wants six months' time to be given to him to surrender so that he can fulfill his commitments in the film industry. He, he is just left with just a week to surrender as per the Supreme Court judgment which awarded him five years imprisonment under the Arms Act. So not only Sanjay Dutt, along with, uh, along with him, there are three others who have also filed a petition on the similar lines. One is Zabunisa Kasi, another one is Ishaq Mohammad Anand Sharif Abdul. In fact, Zabunisa Kasi who, who has been uh, given five years, whereas the other two have been given life sentences. So all the three uh, cases were mentioned before the Chief Justice bench today, citing their age and also the petitioner, for the petitioner, Fali Nariman, the senior advocate and also one of the constitutional experts, he appeared before the Chief Justice and he told Chief Justice saying that till the President takes a decision on their mercy, on their pardon please, which is pending with the President, the Supreme Court should suspend their judgment, basically not allowing them to surrender. Supreme Court said it will take up the case tomorrow. As for Sanjay Dutt is concerned, yes, he has already filed a petition seeking six months' time to surrender. That petition will also be mentioned by Senior Advocate Mr. Arish Salve before Chief Justice Bench tomorrow. So all these four cases will be taken up by the Supreme Court tomorrow. Okay, brother, uh, stay with us. We're just going to cut across to Maloney really quickly. Maloney, uh, 70 to about 100 crores uh, in film commitments. That's the reason that's clearly being cited. But what's really the word going around behind asking for six more months to surrender? Well, we don't know if there is any word which is going around because Sanjay Dutt sources his family, he himself is not talking uh, to anyone. So it could well be that uh, he has work to finish and uh, that is going to take six months. And uh, as you say that, you know, pr uh, there is a lot of money riding on Sanjay Dutt. He has also got a young family. When he had had his uh, press conference just a few days after he was convicted, he had said very specifically that uh, he was not going to ask for a pardon and that he was uh, going to be a responsible citizen and uh, if jail is what uh, the Supreme Court had decided for him that he would go to jail. He had made an appeal and said that he wanted to be left alone because he had a lot of work that needed to be finished and uh, that he'd also like to spend time with his family. So it is possible that that work is not over and uh, that there is money riding on him for which he requires more time. But six months is a lot of time that uh, he's quoting for, uh, for which he wants uh, to surrender.